This week on our America East Hoops Chat, I've got University of Maine head coach Amy Vachon. Coach, always a pleasure to talk to you. Nice to see you. Thanks for having it's, me. It is good to see you too. And my goodness, your team has faced some adversity so far this season, losing two returning starters for the rest of the year. So just talk to me about how you feel your team has responded to the adversity you guys have faced. Yeah, I feel like uh, our team has responded really well. Uh, it's taken some time, you know, as we knew it would. Uh, you know, when you lose two players like Fani and Blanca, and then, you know, we've had a handful of others that have been out as well. Um, it's tough, but, uh, you know, our kids have been great. They've never complained. They've never asked why us. You know, it's just it's kind of like uh, I, we talk a lot about a metaphor for life. You know, things happen to you and it's how you respond to them. And so um, we've been up and down here a little bit in conference, but uh, I, I love our team. And uh, I think if we can get everything together, um, uh, we'll be in good shape. Well, let's talk about Ann Simon, shall we? The rookie of the week, four times already this season. Just how impressed have you been with her in her jump from high school basketball to collegiate and what she's been able to do so far this season? Yeah, Ann's been great, you know, and she she played at a really high level, you know, obviously for her national team in Luxembourg. And then even with her club team, um, she was playing against some really good players. So it doesn't surprise me uh, how she's been able to make the transition. Um, I, I guess what is impressive so much is just how consistent she is. You know, as a freshman, it's tough. You know, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs. And and she's really been consistent for us the entire year. Uh, and so it's been it's been fun to watch especially with some of her senior leaders out. It's impressive to see what she can do at such a young age. Who else do you feel like has really stepped up with those two senior leaders out? Yeah, I, I think two, you know, that come to mind. I think Dorsar, you know, I, I know statistically she may not um, have had the season she wanted or expected, but just her leadership in general. I mean, we had four captains at the beginning of the year and three are out with season ending injuries and you have door left. So um, her leadership has really grown a ton. Uh, and as conference has gone on, I think she's got become more comfortable with her teammates and, and her confidence has grown. Um, and then Maeve Carroll too, uh, you know, she's had some just outstanding games here. I think one, she had 25 and 15, you know, just a kid who averaged maybe 10 point, 10 minutes a game last year. And, has really her confidence has grown as well. So as much as, you know, the adversity we've we've had um, has been tough, it's been really cool to see the younger kids and the kids who maybe wouldn't have gotten a lot of playing time really step up. And, you know, I was talking the other day, I said, you're either going to sink or you're going to swim, you know, and <laughs> because there's really no one else to play, you know. And, and I think for the most part, our kids have swam. Um, so it's been it's been nice. Well, yeah, I mean, you guys sit third right now in the conference as it stands right now with such a young team. So you've got to feel good about that moving forward. But I am curious in conference play, do you still feel like there is that target on your back being the regular or, you know, the reigning champs, the preseason favorite to win it all? Do you still feel like you get everybody's best game? Yeah, we do. You know, <laughs> um, you know, I told our team, you know, some of these players have never beat Maine before, yeah. you know, so um, they know that um, there was a, a player who was quoted after a game early on that said, you know, I'm obsessed with beating them, you know? Um, and so it's just, it, it, that is what it is. And and we embrace it, you know? And so we talk a lot about it. It, it doesn't matter. You know, uh, you have to be ready to go. And uh, so it's a good, it's a lot of good lessons for sure. Well, everybody in the conference, at least, you know, five teams are separated by one game, a lot of parody in this conference. How have you seen this conference I guess, what are your thoughts on it this year and maybe how it differs from years past? Yeah, I feel like, I, I really do. I, I've said it a lot. I feel like any team can beat any team on a given night. Now, Stony Brook definitely has has, um, has separated themselves from the rest of us, along with Lowell, um, those two. Um, but I also think there's, there's no team that's unbeatable and there's no team that can't win. Um, you know, Hartford is going to get a win. You know, they're in a lot of games and I just think anyone can beat anyone. And when we play badly, people are going to beat us. <laughs> when we play well, we have a good chance of winning, you know. And so I think that's very, um, I think that's fair to say about any team in the conference. 
It's been really fun to watch this conference grow, especially since I played in it. Maybe just speaking because we won four games at Stony Brook and it's a little bit of a different situation yeah. <laughs> here now. But um, it's also great to just see what you've done um, with that main team and just the success. And, and like you said, that target on your guys' back. So I guess my final question for you really is what does your team need to do to be able to secure that at least one home yeah. playoff game in the America East Conference tournament at the end of the year. What needs to be done for the rest of this regular season for you to accomplish that? Yeah, well, we need to take care of our home games for sure. You know, our schedule, we, we, ha we have three home in a row right now, um, which is nice. We've been on the road a lot. So we definitely have to do that. Uh, and we also, again, we have to be committed to the little things and be find our, that consistency with us. Um, we've just been up and down a lot. And especially on the defensive end, it's it's been not not great at times. So um, if we've been working a lot on it, especially the last week and a half. So if we can find that consistency. Um, you know, I, I think I think we, we have a shot. It's so fun to see the amount of fans that you guys get at home. It's so cool. So definitely a home court advantage when you guys are at home. So best of yeah, luck. So we, we have great fans. It's, it's a fun place to play. Absolutely. Well, Coach, I appreciate your time. I hope you have a great rest of your week and good luck with these this home stretch that you got coming up. Thank you so much.